Corrado might not be the best known brand in the UK, but it has been going for over a decade now and is very, very successful in its home market in Germany. It comes from the Evenheimer Group and the the range of vehicles includes nine low profiles, of which this is one of three with fixed single beds. It's the shortest of those three at 6.9 metres. Now, Corrado is an entry level brand in Heimer Group hierarchy, and despite that, the vehicles have a very solid, very Germanic feel about them, a very high standard of, of quality to them. And in the UK, they up spec the vehicles too to suit our market. So the basic package and the chassis package, which you'd pay extra for in Germany, are standard in the price of just over £51,000 on this vehicle. Of course, one of the key reasons for buying any single bed motorhome is for this garage space. And this is a really generous space, 1.19 metres high. And despite it being an entry level model, you've still got heating, lighting and even a mains power point, as well as these adjustable tie down hooks. There's an electric double step to enter the vehicle and then as you come in you'll notice that the door doesn't have a window but it does have a fly screen and a couple of useful coat hooks on it as well. And you come straight into the lounge area with these swivel cab seats fitted with armrests and trimmed to match the rest of the living area and a half dunette as well. So four travel seats and this can optionally be a three berth vehicle. It's a standard made as a two berth. Now two people have plenty of space in this lounge area and it's nice and light thanks to the big opening over cab sunroof and a smaller roof light over the half dinette. The table's a good size as standard but if you do have friends in it has a very simple way of extending. You simply pull it out, there's a panel, it slots into place and then you've got room to reach from the swivel's, swivel driver's seat. The Corrado is refreshingly free of bling. The one little touch is this nice light on the back of the seat. But more practically, there is a decent size aisle between the bathroom on this side and the galley over here. Being a UK spec vehicle, it's got an oven and grill too, this Thetford duplex unit, which does both in one. Sink is nothing to report, and the cooker has three burners. Much more interesting is the fact that this big fridge freezer, 167 litres, it has automatic energy selection, which you probably wouldn't expect at this price. The other thing you perhaps wouldn't expect is the general feeling of solidity and quality throughout the furniture of the vehicle. It's very rattle-free on the road. This vehicle being under seven metres long, you haven't got room for an entirely separate shower. But don't worry, this all-in-one washroom area has a neat trick up its sleeve. The, the wash basin and the wall behind it with the mirror simply swing round over the toilet and provide you with a shower cubicle without using a shower curtain and without getting all the furniture um, behind the, the loo wet. You've also got a duckboard and twin drains, so if you are parked on a slight slope, everything should flow away quite neatly. And even a pull down drying rail for your clothes. As well as the garage under where I'm sitting, there's a good sized wardrobe under this bed and on the opposite side, shelved storage for more clothing. You can also reach the heater controls without getting out of bed, which is rather handy on a chilly morning. These beds, easily accessible up a couple of steps, but they are a really, really good size. On this side, the bed is 1.94 metres long. On this side, 2.05 metres. So they're very, very generous. And if you want even more space, this section slides forward. Another cushion simply slots in at the end. And now you'll need to use the ladder to get into a bed that is more than 2.1 metres across and, well, in most parts, two metres wide as well. There are a few surprises on the base vehicle front. It's a Fiat Ducato with the 130 bhp engine and six-speed manual gearbox. Though it is worth noting it's got the wide track chassis, although not uh, with a low floor because this vehicle has a flat floor right through the living area. Spec includes cab air conditioning, cruise control, passenger airbag, ESP, it's all the stuff that you really need. But you will need to budget 
a bit more if you want a stereo, which of course you will, and of course things like reversing camera as well that you'll need to negotiate with the dealer.